Hey guys, this is Sarah. Um, today I'm just going to be addressing the Liam thing that happened last night, like his comment. He was talking about the song Girl, or what was it, Girl Almighty, and he was saying, oh, like, well, you know, he was like describing the song, and he's like, oh, you guys in the audience, you probably won't be able to relate because you're girls. And a lot of people <laughs> got in a huge tiffy about that. They were like sending hate to Liam on his Twitter and that's a no. I don't care how offended you guys got. You do not send hate to Liam because I read what he said. It was not homophobic and that does not make Liam homophobic. Do you guys not know what the term homophobic means? It's literally sending saying hateful things towards gay people that make them feel less of a human being like you're sending hate towards them and you just hate gay people that's what homophobic is did liam say anything that made him seem like he hated gay people no like people are taking it way way too out of proportion like liam basically just made a generalization and he just assumed and you know what liam was just in the moment of like it, the concert i'm not trying to like fully 100% defend Liam. I'm not, but I'm just saying what I feel. He was in the moment of the concert, you know, adrenaline rush, whatever. He just kind of said it. And just like Liam said, and also like what Hannah Montana said, everyone makes mistakes and it's true. Haven't we all said something that we've regretted? Haven't we all said like, it's called a slip up guys. He didn't, Liam did not intend to sound hateful. He's not that type of person. He even said that on his Twitter. My opinion is that Liam kind of says too much. Like, I know Liam has been bullied in the past a lot. So you have to almost expect that his reaction's going to be like this. He, you know, guys, he's been bullied a lot, okay? He is not good at taking hate, I guess. And he just keeps talking and talking on Twitter. But he was like saying, LOL, uh, people take things so literally these days. I'm not going to come anymore, which he does. And he's like, I am in no way, shape, or form homophobic. See, he actually says that, and we knew that. He says it's ridiculous that people think that, and I would never offend people, so take it as you will. You know, he was like saying it's so annoying trying your hardest to make people happy, blah, blah, blah. And all some people want to do is just throw away a statement about a song that I love. He said it was a crap end to a good day. He seems pretty mad, to be honest. And he's like, LOL, this is so insane. The more I read, like, what the fuck? Have you ever said something in the wrong way? I'm sure every person has. I'm just here to make people smile. I consider it my job role thing. He said more, but that's like kind of the gist. He seemed kind of mad. Here's basically what I said. I said, I don't want to make a huge deal about it because it's already been said, but Liam probably didn't mean to make it sound offensive. Therefore, he shouldn't deserve hate. Okay, no one deserves hate. I said, but since I am a part of the LGBT community, which I'm pansexual, I'm speaking on behalf of me and not everyone else here. But I feel like LGBTQ people are always pushed to the corner with things. Straight people are always the ones mentioned or involved or noticed. And we're just in the shadows. So by Liam saying that, it's like he's just not aware and he's assuming. I also said, and why didn't Harry say anything? Did he hear Liam say that? Because if he did, he could have corrected him because that's something Harry would do. Um, Liam isn't bad or wrong. He's just human who makes mistakes. He doesn't deserve hate, but what he does deserve is maybe fans calmly pointing out that there are a lot of LGBTQ fans of 1D and leave it at that. That's what I said. And that's true, guys. If you calmly talk to Liam um, on Twitter and say, hey, Liam, just so you know, there are a lot of LGBTQ people in the fandom, just so you know, his apology would have seemed less half-assed and more real. Because everyone's like complaining, like, oh, Liam's apology wasn't really an apology, it was more concentrated on his portrayal. But you have to kind of see it from his point of view, too. Like, he's been bullied his whole life, and now a bunch of fans are, like, attacking him online and saying all these rude things, and how is he supposed to react? He's, he's heated he's in the moment like he's not it's gonna seem more half-assed his apology might have not seemed like an apology but um i think we should kind of just take it as it is he already said he's not homophobic he said he didn't mean to be so hateful like he's apologized um i just think that liam shouldn't take things so seriously like i don't think he needs to keep tweeting and tweeting like you know we get it and liam just has to know that the whole fandom didn't send hate to him if anything it's the minority that sent 
hate to him and saying disgusting things to him, which is not right at all. Um, yes, I, I know I've already said this, but yes, I am a part of the LGBT community. I am pansexual, but even I didn't take it offensively. But again, I'm only saying it on behalf of myself. There's other people who may be dealing with other issues in their life because they're gay or whatever and they might have taken it more offensively. LGBTQ people are kind of pushed off to the shadows a lot of times and it's always about straight people like they're the ones who are always noticed and so Liam's comment almost made the the gay community almost seem like we don't exist or we don't matter but then again I don't think Liam meant it like that. Liam can definitely learn from his experience with this just because I he did assume he did say a heteronormative comment, but you can't always expect people to be perfect. Like, it is true. The majority of people are straight, and you can't always expect people to be, like, politically correct all the time. I know that might sound like not the best opinion, but it's true. Like, Liam can't always have the gay community in the forefront of his mind. I know usually I wouldn't say something like that, but it's kind of true. When someone's in the moment of a concert, they're not going to be always thinking about what everybody else is thinking about. I mean, One Direction have such a busy life, I doubt they think about everything. I mean, he's human. So if we're really fans of One Direction, we have to forgive Liam. And it's not like he even said anything homophobic. So you guys that's even more reason to kind of lay off and forgive him. I, I, I'm almost feeling bad for Liam that he has to deal with this. But then again, it is online and he can get away from it. It's not like people are saying it to his face. It's not like he's getting physically bullied. Um, it's all online. He can get away from it. And you know, he said his piece already. He said way too much, I think. So I think he's done. You know, he should maybe go find comfort in his bandmates and maybe talk to them instead of going to the internet. and. I just think what's done is done. It wasn't a homophobic comment. I just think Liam just needs to be a little more careful with his words next time because it was a little too heteronormative. He has to know that not every girl in the fandom is straight. If you were offended, you know what? Come and talk to me and I will make you a little happier, okay? Like we can talk because we're both part of the community. So it's a, it's a new day though, guys. I think we should just not worry about it. So if you have any opinions on the whole Liam thing, you know, leave it down in the comments or whatever. We can talk, you know, comment, like, subscribe, whatever. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.